Hello, welcome to the Fan Man Podcast. I'm DJ Gove. Chris Davis. And Sean Hogarty. How's it going, everyone? Fabulous. Doing well, sir. Excellent. So we've had kind of a slow couple weeks, so this one, unlike some of the other ones, we have major topics. We're just going to do a content update. We've all been trying to catch up on some of the stuff going on, whether it's the movies coming out, the TV shows popping up, any book series that people have been reading, anything like that. So let's start with, uh, I know Sean said you finished Iron Fist. I finished in Iron Fist uh, just yesterday. And, uh, you know, part of the pressure to do that was now that Daredevil has yeah. dropped Daredevil season three. I want to start that, but I'm a, you know, order Nazi. So I, mm. I have to finish the previous one first. Yeah. How um, was it? Ultimately, I enjoyed it um, notably more than the first season. Still not a I fan of Finn, Finn Jones' yeah. casting. Um I know that they've announced that it won't be continuing on Netflix. I'll still be surprised if they don't continue some aspects of the Iron Fist characters. And obviously, you know, they've also canceled Luke Cage. So, they're, or at least. It's because they're coming to the Disney. Yeah. Universe. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. figuring there'll be continuity. Yeah. But, Netflix canceled them, quote unquote, yeah. because they weren't going to be able to get another episode out for the right. contract end. And they don't yeah. want to admit that Disney took something good away from them. So they yeah. canceled. The contract them. negotiations got in the way. Yeah. yeah. I think the number Disney threw out there was just so astronomical. Yeah. Disney went, you can't have it. We have our yeah. own. But it was good. And and definitely, uh, I probably like Defenders better. I still like the fact that the storyline through Iron Fist and Defenders and Iron Fist Season 2 does tie in with some Luke Cage stuff and other stuff. So it, it, it felt very comic Yeah, you had a heavy dose of Misty in this one. Yeah. And oh, yeah. She there were definitely, definitely some tie-ins. It's... Yeah, I was surprised by some of the directions it went at the end, so I won't, I, I won't spoil anything. But Yeah, uh, I won't give any details, but I would agree. I like season yeah. two a lot better oh, yeah. than season one. I thought it yeah. flowed better. It was much more watchable. Mm-hmm. So, did you finish Iron Fist? Or? I did finish Iron Fist. I haven't even started yet. I'm way behind it, on that one. That's okay. It's uh, I would say it's worth watching in, in the overall, if you're enjoying all the other Netflix stuff. It I, was a relatively yeah. easy watch. It wasn't the yeah. first season. Felt like work at times. Yeah, I, yeah, no, definitely. I hear they kind of set it up so that they could do e- either or Heroes for Hire and Daughters of the Dragon. I Yeah, I, I think they've set up a number of things. I think they lean more towards Daughters of the Dragon than I'm Heroes actually Hire, not but... familiar with that, though I think I know what it is. And so, yes, I think they've set yeah. some things up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't watch that one. Like, I, that's the, so I, I started Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Um, not Iron Fist. I don't need to do those ones in order. Yeah. Like I said, Iron Fist, I had, it was such a labor to get through season one. <laughs> yeah. And I have to wait for the girls for that one. Daredevil, tough. I can just, you know, after these crazy baseball games. How far are you in? Three. It's I'm trying to pace it. I don't like, I don't, I am too. yeah, I don't like to watch them all at once, but so far it's, the it's, it's, it's good. I'll probably be watching it soon. The, uh, the other DC shows, the CW ones have started up. So, you know, I've watched yeah. the first episode of Flash and Supergirl and stuff. So I'll, I'll catch up on those. Flash tends to be a favorite of Harley, so yeah. we're fully up to date. Yeah. Nice. So not it's part of the content update. So did you guys see the so they they've already filmed the crossover episode. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't so, seen any of the press related to that. You I haven't know seen it's the coming. images yet? You haven't seen the images? No, and so I don't want to. Um, can we just give you a word? Yeah, just give you a word. There, there's um so basically I guess part of because they're doing Ellis World. Ellis mm-hmm. World. Right. So in the Ellis World Barry is Arrow and Ollie is the Flash. Oh, so I saw, I did see a couple pictures. I did not look at them close enough or think about, okay. you know, I honestly thought maybe it was a Halloween episode. Oh, okay. Where they dressed up as each other. Cause, yeah, no. Because the yeah. Flash costume on Arrow looked a little not like the current Flash costume. Well, because the new one for this new season is not as crimsony. It's, it's redder. It's more, oh, okay. it's it's more, more like your comic It's more costume. comic oh, red yeah. as opposed it's to like Daredevil like your... red. Old yeah. school Barry Allen. Yeah. So maybe so, I just haven't gotten yeah, far actually, enough in yet. Yeah, actually, the one, the one photo that Stephen Amell sent out, I actually um, tweeted off the Famine yeah. Twitter account um, because we just did the episode with our favorite yeah. shows and there was such a representation because you had Supergirl, yeah. which was on Chris's list. Mm-hmm. You had Flash, which was on both your lists. Yeah. Um, Arrow was on there, Chris his number is, one. Yeah. And then- they had John Wesley ship back as the Flash oh, in the original Flash in the 90, costume yeah, in the, the 90s. Oh, Flash that's costume. maybe what I saw. And I didn't yeah. zoom in close enough yeah. to see that. Yeah, as John Wesley ship in the OG Flash costume. Nice. One of the other Earths. So it was like this perfect like representation of everything we talked about a couple that's weeks ago. Cool. So I got excited for that. So. Yeah. I, and that's, that's one area where 
because I watch those things in air order, I, you know, I, I tend to just get to them randomly and enjoy the, <laughs> the, the, the build. Yeah. yeah. There's also a Melissa sent out a, t- a tweet with a picture of her and Ruby Rose in full costume on the oh, set too. I haven't seen that. Oh, it's- and and it's good. And so they're yeah, DJ show it yeah, to me. Yeah. Yeah. So she I'm still like the helmet thing still kinda throw me for a loop that she's wearing, but other than that, it looks awesome. So I yeah. mean well, I'm it, I'm excited. I mean I'll 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 love it all. I have been uh you know, not quite the same type of genre stuff, but we just finished watching the second season of Mr. Mercedes, mm. which uh you know, I highly as good recommend. As the first season? Uh yeah, it's different, very different. Um uh, I, as a lover of the books, you know, it's, sure. it's interesting to see what they're doing. And, and in fact, I'd say watch the second series, watch the second season, because I didn't think they were going to be able to do what was the second book, right? Which was Finders Keepers, Finders Keepers. or, yeah, I didn't think they were going to be able to do it because of some fundamental difficulties in portraying it. And just from a production and writing perspective. They nailed it? Yeah, and it's, I mean, it, 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 they took some approaches and conceits about representing things that happen inside a dude's head that were pretty damn interesting. So, yeah, highly, highly encouraged on that. Oh, so DJ's showing me the, uh, Ruby Rose, Batgirl, Batwoman, sorry, and Supergirl. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. It's, it's kind of cool. So, like I said, just the fact that the bats on the costume. So, so is her sister going to hook up with Batwoman? I, I I mean I just thought of that. It was well, no, because, he's Italian. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I mean they, you know, you they could. they that would be they killed their relationship with the cop, right? So yeah, I don't think I, unless Montoya is part of the Batwoman show that's going to start. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, they could do it, but yeah. So I uh, I get I get to finish getting caught. I haven't started the season yet, but I got to finish getting caught up. Did the only thing s- I did do is I started it, watching Krypton, like you talked about. Oh yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Pleasantly surprised. Like yeah. the production yeah. quality is phenomenal. Oh yeah, on that. I couldn't believe it. Job on yeah. That. Oh my god, like just the costumes are awesome. So it's how going far in are you? I think we're three in. So oh yeah, so keep keep going. Yeah, I, they, the the one thing that got me that was like because I was watching with my daughter, mm-hmm. so she knows Jor-El, Obviously, she doesn't know like. She hasn't, she never read Superman books. She doesn't have like this like vast reputation. Like she's watching it with me and you know, it's like a proud pant moment. We're, you know, we're watching it and the first episode shows up and it shows the city with the dome around it. And she goes, Oh, it's mm-hmm. Kandor. And I'm like, when? And they're like, Kandor City. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. And then um, at the end of the first episode, I think, they're talking about, you know, what's coming yeah. and the tentacles all move and the green face watch. She goes, Yes, Brainiac. Yes. Wow. So that's uh, you, you've raised the girl right. Yeah, she knows she knows her stuff. Well, the the biggest thing about Brainiac is he's the uh, main boss in the Injustice PlayStation game yeah. that she is mm-hmm. nasty at. She's a yeah. fighting game girl. She's nasty at it. So she's all about that. She's like, oh, I want to see Brainiac. My kids just know everything from the Lego games. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, you learn a lot of it from there. Yeah. Yeah. You do. So I started watching that. Mm-hmm. Um, talked about him up on Daredevil. I went and saw Venom. I know we were going to try to do it as a group, but yeah. we just couldn't do it because of logistics and work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We will do Fan Men movie night for the next one. Aquaman will definitely do. Okay. We'll do a movie Sounds night. good. We'll do the big like luxury theater, recline and seats, cheeseburgers, cocktails, the whole nine. Holy crap. What? I saw Justice League. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, sorry. Keep going. No, no, no. You, but but no, you mentioned no, Aquaman I, and I realized- No, this is more important. This is like- We really it, need to. I mean, we're going back is, two years here. This so. is like this yeah. is like baby's first steps. Yeah. It, it really is. Well- so? Right. so let's talk about Justice League. Yeah, let's so, so sidetrack. It's, it's yeah, a side so, conversation. Sorry, but no, but that's yeah. Cool. So okay. so I, I had fun with it. I I you know, I I didn't hate it. I love Wonder Woman in that in that universe. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, because this is so she was in Batman v Superman and then had her own movie, but mm-hmm. but here seeing her in that mix was was awesome. Um I still like Affleck, so I'm I I pre miss him. I loved his uh yeah, his, I loved his, you know, going around and building the team stuff. Yeah. Was interesting. Him going to the you get a lot of him as Bruce yeah, in this. Yeah. Which, and I actually and I think you he know, works very well in that. And I yeah. like him better than, you know, than the previous Bruce's as Bruce Wayne. I, oh, I'm yeah, actually a big happy. Yeah. yeah. He does both sides of the role better than I love Jeremy Irons as Alfred. Me too. That's Me too. Know, that's a good one. Yeah. Really so good one. so short you know, short review is I enjoyed it. I it still pales compared to the joy of the of the Marvel movies. It, it's it definitely, especially like 
when you watch that and you know Infinity Wars out there is like you can't compare the two. Yeah, but, yeah. But it was still pretty yeah. cool. I think it was I got the Super Friends in live action. Yeah. I was happy. I didn't know anything about Steppenwolf, the boom tubes, the you know, the parademons. I, I, know, I know who they are because they they tell me who they are. Steppenwolf sucked. The bad guy sucked. The fact that you'd even show Darkseid was just a complete and utter miss. Yeah. Flash was a miss for me. I didn't like Flash. So so I should comment yeah, on that yeah, because one of the reasons I didn't want to watch it was mm-hmm. because I love Grant Gustin as yep. Flash on TV. Um, I actually thought I, I enjoyed him. I, 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 he didn't replace Grant for me, but in this different universe, I thought okay. what they yeah. did with him was, was okay. My biggest problem is not that, so on top of, I'm not a huge Ezra Miller fan. Yeah. Um, the stuff he's in, granted, he, I haven't like, he was good. I don't know of him in anything else. He was in, um, no, this was my he, he so reminds he, me a little too much of, uh, is it Chris Catan from SNL? He does, yeah, 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 right. So that's, that. yeah. yeah. He's in the, um, he's in the Fantastic Beast movies. He's in, uh, oh. was it Perks to be a Wallflower? I think it was or something okay. like that. He was, oh, the that. Perks of being a Wallflower. I think he was in that. Yeah. Um, he was in, uh, that Amy Schumer movie, tr- Trainwreck, or whatever. Oh, I did see that one. Okay. He was the 16 year old kid that she hooks up with in the hotel and his mom comes in. Okay, yeah, yeah I don't like an intern, well whatever. Enough, yeah, but um, the biggest problem with me with that is the way he acted. To me, he's Wally West, and they're calling him Barry Allen. Oh, okay. that's where yeah. I kind of they they should just called him Wally, and it would have been fine. Hmm. And it would have you know they could have they didn't have to have Barry Allen Flash in the Justice League. That's more of a you know I'm not a good a good enough fan. I don't know. I think I might disagree with that. Really, you think so? I think if you're doing the League Origin, you need the original. You need the Barry Allen. Okay, flash. that's fine. Well, but if they but they bring in Cyborg in too. That's true. Yeah, exactly. His new fifty two is. But like I said, if they called him Wally, I'd like the movie even more because I'm the same way. I don't step on the TV show's toes. Yeah. Cyborg, you brought up Cyborg. I loved Cyborg I, in that movie. I thought it was. Yeah, I thought, I thought did that a good was job. pretty good. I liked the the Miles Dyson as his, I know that's not the guy's name. Yeah, but no, uh, <laughs> you know him. <laughs> Nine yeah, him as the father was nice. Did you watch the after credit scene? Um. Yes, and what so. With Luther and oh yes, Deathstroke. Yeah, and that that was one of the highlights of the movie, right? Yeah. I don't know whether because of losing Batfleck, and you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Official, which yet, hasn't but been confirmed. None of that is right. So they the, said you were going to lose him before. So that's true. Yeah. So, but yes, I do like Joe Maganello as Deathstroke. Oh yeah, he's. Mm-hmm. I mean, he should play almost every comic character. The guy's like six five and chisel on stone and. Yeah, but I, yeah, so seeing, seeing, seeing that, that was pretty cool. You know, where I did like uh, whoever played played him in the Arrowverse, uh, Manu somebody or other, Yeah, I yeah, think. the guy from, yeah, uh, who I thought he was Manu pretty Bennett. good. He was good too. But, but I didn't, it didn't bother me to see Mangonel and, yeah. and, and he I, looked awesome. I purposely, I made my wife go see Justice Week and she was like, yeah, whatever. I didn't tell her. I knew that was coming. I didn't tell yeah. her. She, we used to watch True Blood. She oh, yeah? loves Joe Maganella. Okay. Like the only Funko Pop she has on her desk is like the <laughs> the Joe Maganella one from True Blood, yeah. the, like the werewolf guy. But yeah, he is just. So that's that's my big content. Excellent. Is, is I saw yeah, Justice, Justice, League. Justice League. Yeah. Excellent. So, did the disconnects in the story bother you? Did it take you out? So much? Which, it was clearly. Which ones? Like, when you watch that movie, it's clearly the work of two different filmmakers, and you can kind of pick out Snyder parts versus Whedon so parts. I did not, I did not pick up anything particular. I, I don't, you know, particularly if I'm watching something the first time, I'm just not that. I'm not focused on that sort of stuff. I was also primed to not expect it to be that good a story. Oh, yeah my my wife watched it with me willingly. Ooh, She's so like, how are you going to watch like that? It? So. She thought it was okay. She enjoyed, you know, Flash. She enjoyed she made it Aquaman. through two hours of watching. Yeah, yeah. Boys she, and tights. Yeah, she didn't stay. She didn't stay for the after credits scene. I don't think, but uh, but she felt like we talked about it a little bit. She did feel it was a little bit disconnected. Like they had just piled a bunch of shit in the bag. They did. And, they they you know, definitely rushed it. Yeah. I don't think. I think they rushed trying to marvelize it. Yes. And these characters don't have to be Marvel. The fact that- They need to be earned a bit before you mix them together. Yeah. Right? That's what, I mean, Marvel earned the combo movies by all the main ones had had two or three movies of of development. Yeah. I I agree and disagree. Okay. Because there's very few of those Marvel characters that hold a candle to the big three. If you ask people to talk about- the most well-known comic book, they'll say Spider-Man. Yeah. They know that. Yeah. Iron Man, not as much. Hawkeye, 
Nobody well, cared Hawk, about the purple Titan. Yeah. You know, Black no. Widow. I mean, they needed. They'll know Spider Man. They'll know Captain America. So what do you think? But about everybody the Black knows Widow? Batman, Batman, Superman, Wonder, Superman, Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're the Holy Trinity for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the only thing that really pissed me off about the movie is that they didn't let Snyder finish it. Yeah. yeah. There was, and to this day, you still see more drips. That, um, did you watch it on a DVD or you streamed it? Uh, yeah, streamed it. On the DVD, they have some of the outtakes, and they have a shot of the league that looks like they're all just looking at something in the distance mm-hmm. that was supposed to be the last scene. And Snyder just dropped it this week that, yeah, they're supposed to be staring into a boom tube. Yeah. Uh, that was, in, in Dark Side was going to be, that yeah. Justice League 2 was Apocalypse, Dark Side, mm-hmm. the whole thing. So you have a shitty villain that you limped into, the only reason being was to get to Dark Side. Yeah. yeah and that and, connection really wasn't there. Yeah. No, you had, you can pick out all of the Whedon things where you tried to get jokey and- yeah. Yeah, I mean, and some of the stuff stuck out like a sore thumb. They need a better, a better bad guy. I mean, the fact that it's if you all the even bad when, guys have sucked. Right? They do, they do, and what, yeah, ex- except for Loki, they're all they're all horrible. But it's like just like in the in the pantheon of like DC villains, Steppenwolf. Like seriously, like the Just League can wipe the floor with him. It's plus for me. It also it needed a ring. They needed to have at least one ring bearer in there. Yeah, but yeah. and and Martian Manhunter would have been nice, but you know, yeah. But it was it was it was good. It was good. I mean, they were setting the seeds for the Legion at the end, but yeah, don't know if you're going to get any payoff there. Probably not. There's, we'll see. They haven't taken Justice League two off the slate yet. They have not. They haven't said that they're definitely not doing. Yeah, it. they have not. So yeah, but the uh, the only other thing you know, it's not really content related, but uh, but a friend hit me up on Facebook, a guy I haven't you know seen or really talked to since high school, Jimmy Barnes. It's a guy I played uh, guitar with. Um, you know, in, in one of my high school band incarnations. And, uh, he, you know, he has been listening to the podcast and, and has been enjoying it and actually. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah. Said he was inspired to maybe start his own podcast. And that's, that's really cool. I think he's got some good ideas. So, uh, Jimmy, if you get that started up, uh, we look forward to listening and, uh, and advertising it for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thanks for listening, Jimmy. Appreciate it. And anybody else that, uh, you know, we, we'd love to hear Hear from uh, folks, uh, you know, topics, suggestions for top three. Yeah, definitely. Know. Yeah. I mean, if anyone happens to come across and find us, I mean, you know, we're on iTunes and Google Play and SoundCloud, however you found us. There's other ways to get us. Um, leave us reviews. You know, if you got a comment, just send it to us on Twitter um, at fmen 37 yep. I'm personally, I'm at Dejernot. Sean's at Vacaboca. Mm-hmm. Chris is at Chris Davis underscore. I never know where the underscore is. Yeah, underscore yeah. thirty seven. Um, yeah, if you got ideas for topics, you, know, you want us to go back and watch an old movie from the eighties and talk about it, we'll do it. You know, you want us to go out to Heather's because the TV show's coming out. We'll do a Heather's episode. I don't yeah. know, whatever. It's all yeah, good. By the way, that series, yeah, kicks ass. Does oh, it? Yeah? It looked trash when it's, I saw the preview. It's pretty good. I was like, hey, I, right, we'll have to watch I don't know it. why that popped in my head when I saw. But yeah, anything, just you know, hit us up. You know, leave us reviews. Um, if they're really bad, let us know first. Please don't, you want to have a couple, don't crash us. We're just- Nonsense. We're, not, we're just guys having fun. Nonsense. We're not Let trying to- fly. Yeah, we're not trying to change the world or nothing, but <laughs> yeah. So speaking of not trying to change the world and trash, I saw Venom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually don't. No. Here's the thing. Like, So I went to the movie, I just the other night, I had a long week at work and the wife and kid were watching like Halloween Baking Championship or something. I was like, I'm, I did some work on the floor in my bar and I was like, I'm, I'm going to watch Venom. I want popcorn for dinner. Screw it. So I went and checked it out. It wasn't bad. Yeah. It wasn't bad at all. We kind of liked it. And I say we because that's Venom says we for everything. So I've been talking like that all weekend. So the f- Tom Hardy, I didn't mind as much as I thought I was going to. The fact that it's not trying to be set in Spider-Man's universe, it's in a different city. They don't mention him. Actually worked in its favor. If they tried to shoehorn Spider-Man in, backdoor it, as some of us like to say, it wouldn't have worked as well. The voice they did for Venom um, was awesome. The CGI wasn't bad. The bad, like every other comic movie, the bad guy sucked. The fight at the end was like a giant CGI'd mess. Yeah. But there's some funny quips in there. There's some good scenes. There's a good action chase scene that wasn't bad. It was a popcorn movie, you know, it wasn't bad. If they do make a second one, they set the second one up really well. But it was okay. Yeah, it was. Uh, like, I'll, I'll. I'll see it when it. Yeah, yeah I'll end up stream catching it yeah. at some yeah, point. I, I'll give it a good six out of ten. Okay, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's not bad. Good. It's not that's bad. better than most that I've heard. Yeah, yeah, so. five six out. Of 10. I mean, like I said, it wasn't. It didn't. Tr- I know they're trying to start their own like universe. I don't like any of the Amazing Spider-Man movies, so like I said, I went into it real expectations. 
I I mean, I used to like Venom back in the day when Venom was just Spider Man's bad guy before mm-hmm. Venom turned into like this thing. Much like Deadpool, well, where Deadpool's kind of taking over the world. I'm not really yeah, a huge fan of that. Yeah. But no, it was it was good. It wasn't bad. I think that's my one thing that's giving me pause. I like Venom as Spider Man's bad guy. So the fact yeah. that you're announcing on Front Street that you're removing Spider Man from yeah. the narrative, it's yeah. I'm already kind of predisposed to see. For me, it's just going to be you know uh, a random movie. Exactly. I, I'm yeah. not Maybe a huge fan. Check yeah, off yeah. On a plane it doesn't even yeah. feel like a con movie. It feels like a like a sci fi action movie. Okay. So the one thing is, is that they didn't really explain the way they did the symbiote, the explanation and all that stuff. They didn't, I, they didn't go into enough for me, okay. but anyway, it is what it was. It was I bad. want the full backstory from Secret Wars, getting the black suit. The, I, I want know. They can't do it. The though. magic machine that drops a black ball of goo. They do. Um, I'm a spoiler, but they do actually have, so like when, you know, the spaceship crashes and the CMA gets loose and all that stuff, when they're dragging the astronaut out and put him in the ambulance, they show the patch as Jameson's kid. Hmm. They have they has the Jameson on the astronaut suit, so they do harken a little if bit. If you can do Thanos, you can do the Beyonder. Oh, of course, yeah. I, it it doesn't make any sense, but hearing you just talk about that made me wonder what a live action Lilo and Stitch would be. It's coming. They really? announced that. That's that. the next one. Really? So that's, that's, bring it is up. that coming before Mermaid? Um, yes, it is. Because so the order, so Disney live action movies, not Marvel ones. Um, new New Order is the next one to come out is Aladdin. We saw the trailer. Yeah, the teaser dropped. Then Mulan is coming. Okay. Which I probably need to watch Mulan. I've never seen Mulan. I'll let you borrow it. Mulan's oh, it's on Netflix. Mulan's an awesome movie. It really is it's my daughter's favorite princess. The only thing I pause with, with Mulan is that they're saying there's gonna be no singing in it or no music. Mm-hmm. No like mm. music with lyrics, maybe a score. Yeah. But like to make it man out of you is probably one of the best Disney songs ever. Mm. It's awesome. But anyway. And then and then they're doing uh Waiting in the Tramp and We Won't Sister both in the development right now. That's the, that's the slate right Lady now. Lady and the Tramp, that sounds... I don't know. They could all be awesome because they all have such... They've got a root of good story. They do. Right? They do. So. But Live Action Moon and Stitch could be awesome. I love that Especially movie. if they they should do... The, honestly, they should do that one. Not when Wee was a little girl. Like, Wee goes off to college and sits, follows her to college. It's almost like a sequel kind of thing. Or Hannah means family. That is amazing. I, Sean's doing my ringtone <laughs> after we get done with this. I love we have We have the talking Stitch stuffed animal you ever seen that that you yeah. Can, yeah. that responds to you oh that's awesome it's it's hilarious and, except it's freaky because sometimes it just starts talking from the closet <laughs> um or snoring which is even scarier we used but, to have a furbaka like that you know right? remember oh, the yeah. furbies yeah, yeah the furbaka the little furbaka used to do that yeah i love stitch he's such a he's not here anymore yeah <laughs> <laughs> he no he's like uh you you know what's your badness level stitch yeah i am not a- <laughs> i mean it's <laughs> it's, awesome. it's it's awesome it's so good sean keeps it in his bedroom Yes. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know where nah, he is now. Stitch is cool because like, yeah. I remember when the Stitch trailers came out. I think my daughter was just born. It's like 2001 or whatever. Or, um, and uh, they showed him like invading all the old movies. I'm like, what the yeah. hell? Like, now they're out of ideas. Like, now they're running out of ideas. This is ridiculous. And then I didn't see when it came out the theater. I saw it on DVD. I'm like, oh, I kind of like it. And I lived in Hawaii. So yeah. I understand all the ties yeah. and stuff. And I think it's uh, J- uh, Jason Scott Wee. Uh, yeah. Brody. But right. Does the voice and Tia Carrera is the sister and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And, I just wanted to love him. He's great. The cartoon series they had on TV was great, and the, I love the Stitch experience. Even though no one else likes it, people call it the oh, worst I can't wait Disney for that ride. thing to get out. It's gone already. Oh, it's it's isn't that the thing where they replaced the previous Alien the experience? Aliens, or something? Yeah, they just made yeah. it Stitch, so he can the back of your neck, yeah. burps a hot dog in your face, and shit. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like Stitch. So yeah, well, that's I. I did not know that was coming, so that's yeah. Awesome. It's gonna be good. So okay, so today's top three. Um, usually we try to tie it into what we talk about. We did a content update today. It's because it's, this is like an, you know, there wasn't anything, anything big this week. Um, but Sean had an awesome idea. So we're doing top three fictional universes. Yeah. This can be anything from comic books, novels, movies, TV, webisodes, anything like that. We all kind of have our, probably our own little way we judge this. For me personally, I just, I took DC and Marvel off, off it just because I could, go on about that stuff for hours i wanted to diverse a little bit so what i did was for me it's anything that has doesn't have to be for you guys but for what i did was something has to have two out of the three so i need to have like comics and movies or tv show and movies or books in tv or something like that that's how i did it All that's right. how i judge the universe it's like yeah. do i have it on more than one media so i that's that was just me it doesn't I, have to be other way. i that's think just that's how fair I yeah I, I think i reject that as as a restriction for mine but, yeah, but it's, it's a, a but it's yeah, a great too yeah well, but once you, like you but said, i don't we, yeah, we talked about 
I like, I like something. too much shit yeah. to, to yeah. pick three things. So like for me, like one was like, I've talked about a couple weeks ago or like a month ago, whatever. So my favorite like movie series that's not Star Wars is because Star Wars is, just, is Star Wars is a thing. Yeah. Back yeah. Future is great. Yeah. So back to future has just the movies. And then they recently did like a stupid, like telltale game that doesn't count. There's not, have, it's not really a I have universe. a bunch of the, the recent comics. There's some comics. Yeah, yeah, but like, but in the comics, like, there's not like new characters. It doesn't yeah. go off yeah. in like things. Yeah. I know they had like a cartoon one point in time, but I so I left that one off my, off my list. Okay, no, I, I think that's good. Yeah, um, you'll you'll kind of get an idea of of what I was thinking, you yeah. know, through through mine. But really, I was thinking even even if it's instantiated in one oh, yeah. book or something, I just mean the the world that was created, but that, yeah, no, that totally exactly. fits. I, I, That's how I, I, I yeah. approached it as Yeah, well. which is fine. I, just, I had to put clamps on myself yeah. because I'm insane. So, and I also- Clamps bu- so I, on yourself. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, um, so and fair warning i am going to need an honorable mention yeah that's, that's i have one on mine too so that's okay, always cool. a lot okay. okay awesome let's Cheaters. go start off sean all right so number three for me is something i haven't thought about in a while but uh, i used to read a lot more um you know when i was growing up and did read a fair amount of you know fantasy and hard sci-fi and stuff um but there's one series of books that I just loved and and just thinking about it while while thinking about this top three makes me probably want to go back and reread them. It was a, a series by the author Piers Anthony called The Incarnations of Immortality. And I think the first book was On a Pale Horse. And it's basically a kind of futuristic, fantastic universe where the you know, the incarnations of immortality, death uh, wrath or your war, uh, love, you know, the, things like that, um, are people who get that job who rotate through it. And the, the, this first one on a pale horse is death and death's a job. And the, the main character takes over the job of death and it gives him certain powers and a role. And he, he has to go around and, and, you know, take people's lives as part of the functioning of the universe, but that functioning of the universe is a job carried out by individuals. I mean, it's fantastic. Now, I got to check that out because it sounds very Gaiman esque. Oh, I mean, it, you got, it, it it's is very Sandman. Right? Before I ever read Gaiman, you know, Piers Anthony. Yeah, I, I assume he's dead now. He's, he's got to be. But um, but yeah, this was you know, Gaiman's not much older than me, I think, and this would have these books would have been you know maybe before he did Sandman, I'd have to check. But anyway, Incarnations of Immortality by Pierce Anthony is a series. It's probably maybe six or seven books. And just read the first one and and you'll kind of get, it, it It got me jazzed in ways that, you know, did you ever read, uh, I think it was Heinlein, uh, Number of the Beast? Was it Heinlein or am I, am I horribly offending somebody? Anyway, it was a old hard sci-fi book called Number of Beast, where the number of universes was six to the sixth to the sixth, and ways to traverse between them. But uh, but yeah, that's that's my first one. Cool, excellent. Uh, my number three spot. I'm going Star Wars. Nice. I mean, that's classic. It's going to be on just about everybody's list. It's that's the first. That was my first experience mm. with a shared universe. That was mm-hmm. the gateway to. Meaning when you got the second movie and you're like, wait, this is the same it's thing. It's all interconnected yeah. and it's mm-hmm. spawning, it's spawning all these other medias and you're getting these characters and other, like you were saying, DJ, your comics, your, yep. your books, there's been series where they've taken these characters in a multitude of different directions. I have the first four or five Star Wars comics that I got off the shelf, you know. When I got back into comics, the first thing I started was building the original Star Wars collection from issue one all the way through. Um, that was really, I think you're kind of drawn to something like that. The first time you was, Oh wait, this is all connected. This is all, it's part of a larger story. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was the first one I jumped into. Yeah. That's, that's, it's really broad too. It is. It It is. All these planets. Yeah. Yeah. I feel we're talking about, I think I feel we're talking about that more in in depth in a couple minutes, but (laughs) my number three. So, it's I have it as three. It could be one B. It could be one. It could be A. It's the yeah. ask you film universe. Oh. I didn't even so think of that. You can just yeah. cover my honorable mention. Yeah. yeah. So I I mean, like I said, I was a little younger when I saw all this stuff. We we mm-hmm. talked about how much we all love Kevin 
mm-hmm. more, but um, it's only, it gets, it magnifies over the years. I love Quirks. I love Mallrats. I've read, you know, the Quirks comics, mm-hmm. the Quirks cartoon. Oh. Um, so good. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, just the way, like, he actually- he Drives car? Bear drives car. <laughs> Bear drives car. Ah, oh, God. How I love this be? cartoon. How could that be? <laughs> Bear's driving car. <laughs> um, and the fact that, like, when you, like, you never know, I never noticed it when I was a younger. Yeah. You guys were a little older when you probably saw everything. Yeah, yeah, of. yeah. No, no, I'm just saying, like, I didn't, I was, you know, when I first started watching it, I liked it for, you know, the dick jokes and stuff yeah, like that. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. As I watch it when I'm older, you appreciate the dialogue and the way he actually wove her thing where it's like- yeah. You know, Alyssa's sister is in Mallrats and there's yeah. cousins and there's other mentions of like, you know, even though you have the same actor playing different characters, they're like, you know. They're related or they're, exactly. they're, they're, they're over. And the fact that like, oh, Howard plays like, like the Hick, there's a different Hicks in every yes. movie and stuff yep. like that. And um, and it all comes back in Jay and Silent Bob. Exactly. So I, tie I, it all together. I, I, yeah. I figured we'd all have it on there. So that's why I put mine at three because I know if you guys were going to go higher up on it. but So obviously love that. Yeah. But that highlights for me my top three strategy is to not prepare in advance and s- for two reasons. One, because I'm lazy. But two, because... We celebrate that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. Yeah. But but invariably, three is is too small uh, oh, to well, capture everything that you love, it particularly is. when when you're older. But, but I like the fact that I don't always think of things that are completely obvious, right? I mean, in terms of, in terms of, you come to my house, you know, I'm a US universe, you know, fanatic, oh, yeah. but didn't occur to me at all. So I love that you, you mentioned. Yeah, I had, I, I was debating, I was like, so one of my honorable mentions, um, I'll talk about it now, why not? Yeah. I'll just throw it. So another big one for me was the Conan universe. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not a, I'm not a big reader. I have, um, I, I, when I was a kid and even now I, i I do have some attention problems, we'll just say. <laughs> so for me sitting down and reading, like I have a lot of buddies who used to read like Philip K. Dick's mm-hmm. books and stuff oh, like that. Yeah. I can't do that. I can't, those are, down, those I can't are dense, get through them. but I love them. Yeah. But like for some reason, even though no one else I knew could read them, I could rip through Conan novels, man. Yeah. Oh my God. I could tear through So them. you read the, the, I mean the, the old, old school. Yep. Yeah. In the original Conan comics, mm-hmm. I loved um, Conan in the nineties at one point, I actually had a cartoon on TV after school. That was really? awesome. I don't remember that. Yep. And that spawned a computer game. That was fun. What? And yeah. Oh yeah. And there's been, uh, there was a Conan game on PS3. That was awesome. And now there's a Conan online game. Well, there was an, there was another Conan online game that was, yeah, it was like Age of Samaria. It was not so good, but they just started doing Conan Exiles, which is like a survival online game. It's on the consoles and the computer. I've dabbled in that. Um, the movies I didn't talk to. See, it's funny. The last I, thing I talk about is yeah. the Arnold movies. But um, I love they're those. They're great. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. I, even, I really like the Momoa movie. I never saw that. It was People good. Shit well, it was, very, it was, no, good it was pretty good. I'll have to, I'll have People, to watch oh, it. It's, it's not Arnold. I'm like, no. yeah, it's not Arnold, but you know what? It's Conan. Yeah. And I just love Conan. And it goes back to, like I said, like the giant tank kind of characters. And oh, yeah. It doesn't get any bigger and better than Conan. So, yep. Yeah. So I could have flip fought those two, um, but yeah, I went the view ask you because you know the Kevin love. Oh yeah, no, no, no question, good stuff. No argument there. It's interesting listening to you discuss your love for that stuff because you're right where there is that age gap. Yeah. We kind of grew up with them yeah. as Kevin was growing up. Yeah, it was yeah. right in that same couple years. I'm, yeah. I'm right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm Kevin's birthday is August second yeah. of seventy. He sure yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, my I, so I'm two months younger than he is. That's and cool. There you go. So you were kind of three months younger. So so his you're experiencing much yeah. the same stuff. And when yeah. I saw Clerks in I believe ninety three, you said you're in college, right? Yeah, I was in college. Yeah. Somebody had it on a VHS. Yeah, it was yeah. Um, right. It. I knew that he made it, and he was the same age as me. I mean, it was motivating. You know that was part of the link to me was he was speaking very clearly. Well, and you and I were much in that like same me. spot. I yes. mean, we share the love for this. Yeah, clearly, um, we're in that same spot. You kind of saw the evolution of Kevin yeah. as the movies yeah. were being made. You guys too. were always like target audience. So like, yeah. I, it's not. Like, oh yeah, you know, we were in the wheel. And I never like. So I saw Mallrats first because yeah. it was it was like it, that movie. It's the gateway drug. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. I went back and watched Quirks. So I was always younger catching up, and all my friends started to like it too. But it was always because. Oh yeah, like the Jay and Silent Bob stuff, the stoner stuff part oh, yeah. of it. That was never even like remotely part of it. For me. It was always the dialogue in the universe and yeah. and and all just like then it got into Kevin's comic book writing and yeah. et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera. Yeah. And now, you know, the big we're, thing we're for all me was it, always so. the the well, I mean, it started with clerks. The the fact that they they talked to each other the way 
I talked to to my friends, yeah, right? I mean, that, exactly. that actions you'd have. and that was different than you know exactly everything else. Exactly, it, especially with like you know the way he talks and you know, everything's like in pop culture. I I, yeah. I have this thing like I just talked about. You know, I've had attention problems in my life. <laughs> when people like, I tell people like I have. Do you ever watch Scrubs? I haven't, but I know I would. So love I it. tell people I have Scrubs brain. Because <laughs> JD on Scrubs, we'd be talking, and as people were talking to him, he's thinking of what they're talking about, like in movie clips and stuff, and uh, pop culture references. I need to, so I need to watch Scrubs. So, and th- that's kind of how my brain works. So the Kevin movies are already in that kind of vein a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, and like I said, he writes good. He writes good movies. It's not for everyone, but it's for me, and it's always clicked. So I had I had to put it on there. So, no, it's a great call. All right, so number two. This, uh, I actually flipped from my number three because I realized I love it more than that other other universe I mentioned. Uh, Firefly. Ooh. Right? Excellent. Firefly, the Serenity. Um, something I, I came to long after the show had been canceled. Uh, one, of my, one of my six younger brothers kept mentioning it as, you know, this fantastic show that, that just I had to watch. And obviously I heard of other folks, you know, uh, mentioning it but so i just watched it straight through i you know i bought i bought the whole series on blu-ray the movie had already been out um was that serenity yeah serenity Serenity. the movie um and i mean just everything about it you know loved the 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 gritty reality of the production design of the universe the characters the you know it's just everything about it was perfect and the the most negative thing about it was knowing as I was going through it that, that it was dead, right? One season. Yeah. The worst feeling. Well, it it it's also sweet because it made me pay more attention to it than if I'm binging a sixty episode or a fifteen season show. It's it's There's more no it's stuff. more digestible. Here I knew every single you know, it was like thirteen episodes, I think, and every single episode I watched and extracted and loved. Um, and then watching the movie was interesting just to see after the show was canceled, see how he approached it with a bigger production budget, the same actors, you know, trying to wrap up a story that was never fully rooted in the, in the first season, but, but the universe itself was, you know, was just fantastic. Yeah. I'm noticing a thread as you're going through these. You're focusing, and you're going to see the same thing in my top three, very much on the writing. Yeah. And oh, that's er, one of the, one of the that's other what ones I was that I, the universe was honorable the creation mention, that's, yeah. of the cultures. That's exactly and the, where I, yeah. one of my, if I was going to do another honorable mention or something that got left off the list was just the Whedon verse yeah. in its totality. Yep. Buffy and Buffy, Angel, yep. Angels. Fire, oh, yep. Angel, yeah. Um, those stories. Successful creation of a culture that's communicated through believable mm-hmm. And it's something experiences. that, that's it. It's not. So much the characters, I mean, high school vampires could care less. Yeah. But the shows were so well written. Yeah. And so far ahead of its time. Yeah. When he was writing them. Yeah. I can totally see where you leaned into that. With the Firefly, did you ever get into, I know they did some, like a couple comic miniseries, like a couple little novels. So I have a number of them. I've read some of them. They didn't, they didn't engage me the same way. I have not given them a fair, fair shot. Um, but, but it's one of the things where I'm so wrapped up in, I think it's Whedon's writing and that production so you, and direction. You didn't even need to go casting. outside. The, sh- the show was enough to suck you in and, and oh, create yeah. it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you know a a ship design that stands out. The ship is badass, I'm right? Lying. I'd love to find a, you know one to put on my shelf that's not. You know, a five thousand dollar QMX, sure. you know, yeah, full scale, but isn't a p- little piece of crap. You know, yeah. Um, there's a Yahtzee game. There's a Firefly Yahtzee game. There's a Monopoly that, game. There's, is there? Yeah, yeah, but the Yahtzee game, like you shake the dice in a copy of the Serenity. Yeah. Oh, and no it's about the right size, one. so I I may That's just buy cool. that. I thought Neca made a decent one. I'll look it up. Mm, yeah, check check that out. But so Firefly is my number two. What you got, Chris? Very cool. Um, my number two, going back to the movie one, I'm going with the Tarantino verse. Oh, that's a, yeah. oh, that's such hey. a good one. I, nice. Sticking with the theme of the writing. Yes. I mean, in Tarantino, this is going to tie a little bit back into the view askew. Quentin was popping at that same time that with Kevin the same was, that Rodriguez. dialogue, yeah. It's very much the same, snappy dialogue, 
Um, and he, starting from Reservoir Dogs, yeah. right through tying the Vega Brothers together, oh, yeah. right into Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, to this day, is probably the movie I saw most in the theaters. So I saw that Pulp hit, Fiction in the theater. I had not seen Reservoir Dogs. I had neither. I had to go back and find and it out. I saw that in the, what was the Cherry Theater behind Berkeley College of Music. Okay. And, you know, it was one of these places where, you know, people generally went and everybody was talking at the screen, like giant, you know, and that movie was fantastic. So, yeah. It's, that was the first one. I mean, you hadn't seen anything like it. At the time, you hadn't seen characters talking like that. Yeah. It's probably the right movie at the right time. Mm -hmm. They just captured the use of characters or use of actors. Yes. That you had seen in a previous life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Who were respected and plucked out of there and given new things to do that gave them entire and other careers, right? Exactly. Travolta. It's, and, yeah. But the interconnection, and you really have to take a step back after you've seen three or four of these movies oh, it's, to yeah, see how it intricate it was. It's a little more subtle than that. He others, yeah. wound through some of the stuff and to tag back up on a previous episode, a personal favorite of all of ours, Michael Parks. Yes. Who yeah. Quentin definitely falls in love with his actors yeah. and you see Michael pop up again and again. It's a, it was very much, I mean, you could probably bring Rodriguez in. It's, yeah. You yeah. kind of hit that theme, but Tarantino, yeah. even more so. It's a different tone than so, the Kevins. He's so going So folks might crime. get offended by tying together Kevin Smith with Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino, but, but I do. very They're similar. They're the Merrimax yeah. triplets. I mean, yeah. they, they yeah, all true. popped at the same yeah. time. Distinctly. The critical acclaim definitely belongs more to Rodriguez and Tarantino, yeah. probably deservedly so, but, but the thing that's interesting- you, you bring up Tarantino. I thought of this while we were talking about the view of Skewniverse. Tarantino's dialogue is like the way you talk to your friends if you were cooler and had time to think and write what you were going to say. Yeah. Like it's, it's, yes. it's, That's a it feels great right, distinction. but it's better than you would or anybody would really ever speak, but it's still a vernacular that feels like something that somebody would actually say if, if they were cool. Yeah, like if you mm -hmm. if you if you could take a <laughs> yes. if you could take you and your buddies hanging out on a couch drinking on a weekend and go back and rewrite it with like someone very articulate with like you a know what? I should have said <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's exactly. What, that's what it is. But but uh, to, I would not have thought of that as a universe, but you're right. Is Pulp yeah. Fiction the one though? Is that your favorite Tarantino movie? Pulp Fiction was the gateway. Um Reservoir I think it's dogs. still I love dogs. I mean, for the longest time, yeah. I had the Michael Madsen poster, oh, yeah. Yeah. just leaning on the pole. And the, where, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was in the middle. But you. if you if you went to my dorm room in college, I mean, it was. You guys probably remember this at Newbury Comics. They used to sell the giant posters, yeah. and they came out with I think the big four. I mean, they definitely had um, Vincent. Yep. They had Jules. Yep. They had um, Mia. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if they had Butch or not. But probably, probably. I, there was the giant Jules and Vince posters on yeah. the wall. Yeah. It was probably, Pulp Fiction is probably still number one for me. I haven't seen, there. I mean, obviously they're not in the same universe, yeah. universe, but I haven't yet seen Hateful Eight. Um, it was okay. It was not okay. bad. It's clearly a Tarantino movie. Yeah. yeah. You're going through some of the same things. Um, I like one, Django a lot. Django, I love Django. Django was, Django was unbelievable. Really awesome. One insane. of my favorite things he ever did was the one piece in Four Rooms. I haven't seen that. Which was, it's amazing. Yeah. And they bring back, again, Tim Ione Roth. Sky is oh, yeah. brought back. I mean, it's yeah. crazy. And he, goes, she, he, he likes to go to the well in a good way, not like in a bad way. Yeah. Like he's out of ideas, but just it's kind of his oh, yeah. thing and it's awesome. All right. Big, great, so that's Chris. That's a good one. Fantastic. Good one. So my number two, um, I'm actually going the World of Warcraft universe or the Warcraft okay. universe. All right. Not so much the movie. The movie was bleh. I never saw the movie. But I played Warcraft 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. I played World of Warcraft from the day it launched heavily for years. Yeah. Um, the Warcraft lore is second to none. The stuff they came up with to piece all this together, mm -hmm. um, the bloodlines of the le leaders of the different factions, you had, um, you know, Duratar, where the orcs come from, and Thrall, and I know you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but the no. Warcraft, <laughs> they did novels um, that, you know, they take all these characters. I'm aware that, of it. I, yeah. I, yeah. I played work, the one, yeah. I played two. I know yeah. the which game. Which the overhead I strategy. I don't know when, the larger what, Yeah. So when World of Warcraft came out, they had to all of a sudden, okay, you have a million, zillion people on the game at all times talking to all these characters all the time. We have to come up with new stuff. 
and they just kept linking shit together. And so I like all that fantasy stuff anyway. Orcs and dwarfs, especially dwarfs, anything with a, an axe and a beard is okay yeah. with me. Or a and hammer. My axe. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or a hammer, you know. Um, and just like, you know, we didn't have a lot of money to go out with when I just got out of college. You know, we had the kid and I was, you know, just mm-hmm. starting to work in IT and I had like the phone answer job. So it was like, well, for 15 bucks a month, I can have all my spare time covered. There you go. No, <laughs> that's so pretty good. Like, yeah. So dipped into it and it just, you get, it said you get into the war and you start reading the comics and the books and the cartoon. There's lots of things I got sucked into in that first apartment. Yeah. Where before streaming, you could go, you could get a whole series of TV on DVD or exactly. rent them on. Exactly. Netflix, yeah. original Netflix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just, yeah, it's just something where it's one of those things where it's like, you know, even like I'm, I've thought about this winter getting back in the new expansion. I stopped because it was taking up way too much time, but you know, they have like the, uh, the card game on the iPad, the Hearthstone game and you play it and you're like, you flip over a card like, oh yeah, I remember killing that guy. Oh, is that, remember, is that related to World of Warcraft? Hearthstone is World of Warcraft. I didn't know that. That's yeah. crazy. I played it when it first yeah, came out. Yeah, Luther Lightbringer but, and yeah. Jada Proudmore. And oh. It's just, like I said, there's, the lore is very well written to the point where people go to like BlizzCon and they, they, have, their, they, have, they have books, the video game, they had a movie, um, they had comics, they have their own convention. How was the movie? It was okay. It The movie was more like Warcraft, like PC game, like Warcraft 1. But they had little hints to the stuff that comes up later on in World of Warcraft because it's after. So you're like, ah, oh, yeah, there's Baby Thrall. And, oh, yeah, I know that hammer. Or like, you know, the guy drops like a glove and they're like, I've, I've worn those gloves before. Just stuff like that. So Cool. And it was a big part of my life to the point where I see videos at times. I miss it. And, you know, the Leroy Jank and stuff and all yeah. like the memes and everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going um, the Warcraft universe. All right. So we're we're to number one, right? We are on, yeah, we're on number one. Right. We are on these so, top threes that drop numero, me nuts because yeah. I keep thinking of other ones yeah, that should have been yeah. added. I know. Yeah. Well, we That's can, okay. We can, we're we can allowed to revisits and yeah. add-ons. And stuff. Uh, so, so a brief honorable mention that I just thought of that probably doesn't count, but still talking about binge binge watching via Netflix DVD delivery, mm. Entourage is oh, yeah. a series that my wife and I watched when we first were engaged and living together and, and uh, you know, and we watched it DVD it by DVD. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that was a, that was a fun universe that I love, but, uh, but my number one universe is uh, the Stephen King dark tower universe. <laughs> um, yeah. So I wouldn't call myself an expert in it, but having been reading Stephen King books since I was far too young to read them. I believe I read my first, you know, the different seasons, uh, four story nov, you know, novel novella, um, that included the body Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. Um, and I can't remember what else was in there. Uh, the raft might have been there, which is horribly scary. The raft, yeah. Wasn't that, I remember the raft that's like, messed up. I remember is that like they're on the raft and the one guy tries to swim off because he thinks he's like the like the varsity sports yeah. guy. He gets cut with like, the tar thing. Yeah, I saw that like on yeah. either Tales from the Crypt or Creep Show. Or oh, something did they like actually that. do a? Sh- for, they did. Might have yeah. been Creep Show. Might have been Creep Show. Yeah. Yeah. But so reading all the Stephen King books my entire life, I've probably missed a couple in the last few years, but I try to keep up with them. When I got to Dark Tower and read, you know, I don't think I read the first book until like the third book had come out or something like that. And he was tying together things that had overlapped at different points in the past. But uh, it just tying together, right? He actually figures into his own universe and him as an author of these things and then them being, I mean, it just blew my mind in fantastic ways and pulling in, you know, Star Wars and Harry Potter and stuff at different points. I don't, I don't know how much you guys have read, but it's just an example of a, a mind blowing, well, awesome thread across a zillion Just things. to kind of keep the conversation going. Yeah. The Stephen King universe is my number one yeah. as well. All right. Oh, okay. So not yeah. Necessarily, oh, okay. I kinda, I kinda not necessarily the dark yeah. tower, but yeah. it is, it's that year. How many years has he been writing now? 30 plus years he's been dropping novels Eat and up even more, I think. Yeah. Even taking the dark tower, it intersects with the larger King universe. Itself. Yeah. Flag appears. I view it as the King universe. Honestly, it for, really, for me, it, it, it's the, so you're taking of any of the Derek yeah. stories and yeah. that, that's an yep. offshoot of yes. the tower. Yep. Yeah. I, I obviously I agree with you, Chris. So it's, and it doesn't matter which genre he's writing in. Yeah. It's pure horror, psychological, uh, there are eyes of the dragon. So road we, to perdition, right? 
Um, no, no, not, not him. I'm trying to uh, think of who that was. That wasn't him. Nope, not no, him. that was a separate. Oh no, that was a graphic novel. He, yeah. uh, Green Mile. Green Mile. Green Mile. Yeah. yeah. So Tom so Hanks movies. I get them all stuck. We talked them. about Mr. Mercedes the the series earlier. That's an example where I, I actually suggested to my wife, we just finished that the second season, that she actually read those books because she's not really into the supernatural stuff. But particularly the first book is just dead on, you know, uh, crime, right? A homicide investigation, well, you know. it. And that's the other thing. It's like he, a Dennis Lehane novel exactly. written by Stephen King. Or did you ever read Joyland? Oh, I love Joyland. Which such amazing, a beautiful but polar thing. opposite from anything else that he wrote. Yeah. But yeah. still tied into oh, the larger so threads yeah. that go through this whole thing. I wish I could read books like you guys. Now, the other way you guys are talking about it. You should it, listen. So, audio yeah, books. Because audiobooks, audio audiobooks. audiobooks are fantastic. So now that we're in a day and age where Castle Rock yeah. exists. That's true, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. And it's pulling together all of these various threads. But not you don't need to read the stories, but That's you're in that so world. I can watch that and, okay. Yeah, I mean, only, like, yeah you can pick the up only, on a The only lot of King it. thing like I know, because obviously like, so, we talked about on the Halloween episode- I'm a scaredy cat. I get scared yeah. easily. So I it I mean, fucked me up as a kid. To yeah. this day, that is still my single favorite so, novel. So you right. should read which one? It. It, yeah. So that's but if you wanna you should I read, have I've I've read it. Read, I end up reading read it. Read different seasons, which is the which has Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. One yeah. of the reasons that movie I've read that story because okay, I had excellent. to yeah. because I so love the movie. That movie is the book. That was the thing that taught mm-hmm. me, oh wait you can do this correctly, you know, meaning translate a story to, to film. Sure. Um, but yeah, read that and read, uh, uh, read eyes of the dragon, which oh, is it's amazing. Right. And it's, it's kind of a standalone, so, except obviously it ties into all the stuff. And it but ties it, into the stuff that it's you're, a fantasy you like. Book. It's a it's fantasy like, book. You know, wizards and dragons, dragons and shit. And, yeah. yeah. But it's kingdoms. Yeah. I might have to sign up for like a month of audible or something. Yeah. Just, yeah. Hmm. Uh, the dark tower audible books are to the yeah. stuff rather I've seen, than, yeah, I remember, I say, I've seen a lot of the movies, like The Stand and The Legionnaires. Uh, did they do a TV the, movie for that? Not or? The Legionnaires, The, the Langoliers. The Langoliers, I'm sorry, yeah. The Legionnaires. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a bunch of- Tommyknockers. The yeah. Fog was him, right? The Mist. The, the mist. mist, I'm sorry, The Mist. Yeah, no. That was pretty well done. That was- That wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah. but so, two, two times Stephen King for number one. What do you get, DJ? Star Wars. Hey! Hey! I, I, I mean, Star Wars, Star Wars is life. For me. Um, so, when did you first see Star so, Wars? So, born in 82. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First saw Star Wars when I was about four or five. So, so like 82. So, after, did, after Jedi came out on home video. Jedi came out, was Jedi like 84? 87? 87. It, 86, the, point, 87? the point was, you were, when did you first see Star Wars and the, and the others? So video? It was video probably tape? like 87, yeah. Okay. So, I didn't get to experience it in the theaters initially. Um, I had, you know, I, I watched it and, you know, fell with all the characters, you know, Hansel is my favorite fictional character ever created. Yeah. Yep. You know, my dog is named, I have dogs named Chewie and Solo. It's like, <laughs> I have the logos tattooed on my body. I have yeah. toys, stacks of toys, comic books. I've read, like I said, I, we just talked about, I'm not a big reader. I can read the Star Wars novels. Mm-hmm. Um, the Z- the Zon stuff, yeah. Jedi Academy, mm-hmm. um, Splinter the Mind's Eye was the um, first one I remember. They're reading. all um, they're all until until about like late nineties when they let just anyone write anything they wanted and mm-hmm. they started like they killed Chewbacca and both climbed out of the Sherlock pit and it just got, it went off the rails. But um, some of the graphic novels. Did you ever read? I forget who wrote them. There was there were th- three I think Han Solo novels. Yeah, yeah, they were great. Um, yeah, they were really good. Yeah. Yeah, they were really good. Um, that's the whole thing with like when he was in the Imperial Academy and he finds Chewie. Different yeah. than they did in the movie, but... Well, that's okay. Yeah, but you have all the movies. The characters they created in the Expanded Universe stuff. Um, Grand Animal Thrawn might be a better bad guy than Vader. Yeah, I don't know him at all because He's, I didn't read any of that. Vader's not all bad. <laughs> Vader had redeeming qualities. Yeah, Chris is Thrawn, tossing the what you talking no, about Willis Thrawn look at you. Thrawn is pure concentrated evil. Um, the books even they've written about like characters He's like movies, a like, super smart Smurf. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. He's oh, dude, dude. He's like like Brainy Smurf got like too many swirlies in high school and turned into Grand Animal Thrawn. <laughs> nice. Um, the comics they created characters like Prince Zizor and Mara Jade, and I mean it was just heard some of those names. The Solo Twin stuff, like the Solo Kids, just the arc with the Solo Kids stuff was was awesome. Totally separate from Kylo Ren. Totally separate. I thought they were gonna go that route. They didn't. Um, this Jason, Jacina, Jaina, and um, Ben Solo. Um, obviously the music. 
you could even tie oh, the music yeah. into it. The music is, is second John to none. John Williams is a seven. Um, you, know, we'll, you know, we talk about Disney a lot. I'll be walking through Hollywood Studios and the the song will come on. I'll just kind of like stop and close my eyes and just listen to it. And, you know, even like two bars of that song, which I can just close my eyes and go right. through the movies like that. Yep. Like I just speed run through the movie in my head for two seconds. And it's just. You know, when those about, games came out. Yeah. The the original X-Wing game. Mm-hmm. X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. Where they had, no, even before I mean, that. Yeah, just X-Wing. Yeah. Right, just X-Wing. That was the first time somebody had taken like a movie soundtrack, chopped it up into thematic mm-hmm. elements and figured out how to tie it dynamically to, you know, if you all of a sudden, if TIE Fighter showed up on the radar and you're in a yeah. battle, the music smoothly transitioned into the TIE Fighter music, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm so into yep. the music and I, the way that affects things. I'm such a nerd. I would play X-Wing versus TIE Fighter on the computer we had at my grandparents' house. I had rope lights around the desk and I'd flip on and I'd put on the Don Post X-Wing helmet. That's awesome. And I'd have the joystick, the logic joystick, yeah. and I'd play the game. That's and it's just with the headphones on. And it's like I said, it's, it's the books, the comics, the movies, the car, even the cartoons. Like, I wasn't a huge Clone Wars fan, but I love Rebels. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the new one's not bad so far. There's a new series that's premiering like yeah, next week like all, or something. Yeah, or a new season of... It's the new series. Um, they the first episode got online. I don't know if it's like a like a preview episode. Oh, yeah. Um, it's like all the resistance pilots, which is cool because I like all the X wings and the A wings, and I'm a, I'm a big pilot guy with Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Not, it's not just the Jedi stuff with me. It's more like the other stuff. Um, you get into that. It's just there's there's so much of it. And we're not going to talk about toys because I go on for oh, yeah. a zillion years yeah. about the, yeah. the toys and the statues and stuff. Just but all the characters have like a special place in my heart. Like I said, Han Solo is my favorite. Chewbacca, R two, three PO. Lando, I mean Leia. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, uh, I, you know, they. I was offered bereavement days when Carrie Fisher died at work because wow. people just know how. Like I was, I went to work, but I was like, I was down and out for a couple of days. It, that one hurt, you know. It's, yeah. it's a big part of my. I, I we talked for. I, I was raised by a VCR and a TV set, mm-hmm. so it was all. I own the friggin' Ewok movies on DVD and the Droids movies on DVD. Oh, he so, goes way deeper than us. The I used to watch the Droid cartoon. I had the Droid action figures. Um. My I board. watched the holiday special live and the Ewok specials live. That's good stuff. Yeah. The, actually, I, it's not good stuff, but I'm saying like that the fact that you Yeah, the fact that I watched it. Yeah. Not, not yeah. the product. Yeah. I, I was um, one of the original confused kids when the holiday what? special what? aired and I'm like, I don't think I disliked it. It's 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 fun no, because to it ironically was, hate it was, on it yeah. now. But Star Wars character. But it was Star Wars. Exactly. Yeah. And so, the yeah. Arthur. I mean, hey. Yeah. But I'm that guy where it's like, you know. Oh, there's just a gray hoodie. Oh, you saw the Rebel logo on it. I'll pay 60 bucks for it. Yeah. C3PO cereal and Yoda soup and whatever, anything else they do, you know, it's like- Yoda soup. They did. They had a like chicken noodle soup with Yoda, like little Yoda noodle. head-shaped noodles in it. Um, any of that stuff, I'm in. Nice. I'm in. All my coffee mugs are Star Wars and I have t-shirts and it's just- so well, that, like said, that's Star Wars is a life, so. That's certainly a worthy, worthy universe. Yeah. So like I said, this was, I we probably could have just done the whole episode just on our top three. This is, I, this is one we should- probably revisit each of these individually we should do a king episode maybe a star wars episode we'll do multiple star wars episodes eventually yeah when it gets closer to something star wars but okay can, can we take a second to shout out to the john hughes universe of course something oh, yeah. that didn't make mm-hmm. any of our lists that's but true it didn't was a huge part of probably all of our childhood yeah, like i like all the movies for me it's the i think it's the age thing where it's like they weren't for me growing up when i was like a teenager i had some other stuff so it didn't hit home true, as hard it's yeah. probably more in the when those things yeah. came out i i don't my recollection is that I wasn't old enough to see them. Like they were, they were R or like 16 like, candles, what, like 86. Yeah. Somewhere feels like in there. something like that. And I 86, don't six breakfast club like, was eight, breakfast club was 85. Like I don't, Maybe club yeah, first. I don't think I saw those until I could rent I found them. them on HBO. Yeah. Or it's, maybe And it made like me that. think of it when he was talking about being raised by the VCR on a TV. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It's those are the, those are the ones that you saw, yeah. and you could probably even fact. you could probably even whoop that into like the, all the Brat Pack stuff, oh, know, yeah. Blood and Saint Elmo's yeah, Fire Saint and Elmo's all that. Fire. So I yeah. like them all, but when I saw, by the time I saw them, yeah. my generation had its own like teeny mm-hmm. movies to watch. So yep. and I had all the American these, Pie movies and stuff like that. Sure. You know? yeah. When you talk about these, all of these were the seeds that planted the VSQ universe. Exactly. Oh yeah. Yeah. It yep. was yep. Hughes. It was Star Wars. It yeah, was without John Hughes, you might that. not have. It's yeah. Some all that stuff. No question. They end up back in Illinois and Dogma. Yeah. I said, yeah. So, I mean, like I said, we could talk about this forever. We're going to have to break these down. I think I'm going to save these notes. We're going to go individual episodes for each thing because we're going to have to, I mean, Tarantino could be an episode. We'll do. Oh yeah. Uh, no doubt. So once any of the stuff comes, like there's new stuff coming out, we'll have to loop back around. Great. So number Next three, one. Sean had the incarnation of immortality book series. 
uh, Firefly yep. or the entire Wheaton verse. Yeah, kind of. but Firefly, but Firefly really is really Firefly is the highlight. Yep. And then number one was uh, Dark, Dark Tower, Tower Stephen slash King. Stephen King. Yep. Chris went Star Wars at number three. He went Tarantino at number two, which threw me for a wicked loop. Awesome. And then Stephen King at number one. Mm-hmm. Um, I did the View Askew universe at number three, which I'm surprised I'm the only one. I thought we were all going to have it. Uh, I didn't think of it. Yeah, it's just three, kind of understood. Yeah. 3A, three 3B three mm-hmm. was was Conan. <laughs> um, number two for me was uh, the Warcraft universe, the mm-hmm. World of Warcraft war in books. And number one was the King of All movie universes, Star Wars. Because... Why not? Awesome. Very good. Yeah, thanks for listening. Sorry we went a little over on this one. We're going to try to uh, start tuning them back down into like the, the car ride kind of 35, 40 minute kind of thing. So <laughs> Other people's car rides, not yeah, mine. Cars, yeah, yeah not Sean. So. so I said, if anyone has uh, wants to get back, ask with any ideas, um, hit us up. Have a good night. Later. Later.